There it is. Thanks for coming. Welcome back. Um, we're talking to JT and, and Nate here about just what the harness is actually going to do for you, right? Bottom line is this. It's going to keep you in the loaded position longer, right? As a hitter. If I can stay loaded longer, or some guys will say hand back, hands back, or better separation, loaded longer, loaded longer, I'm going to be a lot more effective and have more potential to hit the ball further and have plate coverage as a pitcher, right? If I can stay loaded longer, then I'm going to have more potential to be able to command the pitch because I'm not going to wrap and try to get. I'm going to be able to be right here and choose what I'm going to do, as well as if I'm loaded longer, I'm not going to pull down and then try to pull the um, pitch down. I'm going to actually be able to choose where to go with it, and then obviously we know more velocity and whatever, right? Um, we've got tons of big league guys, minor league guys, um, nine of the top 20 NC2A programs in, in, in Division I college baseball and softball use it. Thousands across the nation have purchased it. And the reason why is because people finally have something that has solved the unsolvable in player development. When you work out, can you see yourself? No. No. Can you? No. When I'm telling you as a coach or your coach is working with you, they're saying, hey, stay back or keep your hands back or whatever movement that or mechanic they're trying to teach you. Can you see it? Can you even tell if you're doing it? The only way that you can is by them telling you, right, did it good or not. But at the end of the day, you can't, right? That's the unsolvable. That's the gap that has not been bridged. But the harness bridges it because what it does is it gives you sensory feedback. It takes my verbiage, puts it into your motor patterning to give you the ability to make the change. Not only make a change or feel a change, but also when is it going wrong, right? Deficient or efficient movement. We obviously want to be more efficient because the more efficient we are, the more energy we're creating and not leaking, and then therefore it goes into the pitch, right? So ultimately speaking, when you guys are going to use this, you're going to feel an energy uh, or, or a, a sensory uh, overload that will be either negative or sensory feedback, which will be positive, right? If you have a negative sensory overload, it's because you are not in the loaded position long enough through your heel strike. And hitting and pitching is identical. So then therefore, it's gonna rip your back foot up and then cause you to go this way, which you're not gonna wanna do anymore. So then you work backwards from that. And it'll do it at the right time. The bungees are, are built um, so sensitive that it's like a piano key. The more that you come out of the loaded position incorrectly, or the earlier that you do it, the more it'll rip your back foot up. The less, the less it will do it, right? So very powerful, gives you a great, uh, uh, great ability to work with yourself or with somebody, and it's really solved the unsolvable. So um, let's get started and go from there.